Hello folks and welcome to episode 6 of Monster Sanctuary. This episode we will be continuing on the adventure from defeating the Goblin King and preventing Chaffin getting kidnapped. This time around we're going to go visit the prison cells and see what the alchemist plot is about right now. So let us head on down there shall we? Oh, the music changed real suddenly there. Uh, good job on bringing in that evil doer Keep Seeker. Yulia told me all about it. Sounds like you'll be making your family proud, Spectral Keeper. Let me introduce myself. I am Eric, Keeper Dragon Dragoon of our order. I came to the stronghold when I heard rumors that alchemists have been spotted. Oh yes, I know that this masked person belongs to the ancient order of alchemists. Although I don't know much about them, other than they once came to the sanctuary and caused some trouble. I'm afraid nobody in the sanctuary knows more about them. So far, I've only found out from him that the alchemists are the reason why there have been so many monster champion monsters. The alchemists have been perfected a formula for an elixir that can turn a regular monster into a champion monster. The alchemist was in the ancient woods to gather ingredients for the elixir. Other than that, it appears that we are now in the dark for now. Hmm? You have found a library deep within the stronghold dungeon? And Keeper Nobis will find a book with more information about the alchemist. Tell me about it. Interesting. I need to commend you for doing such a good job. You are quite extraordinary, aren't you? I expect no less of a special keeper. Seems like we'll just found, found right, just the right information. Oh gosh, it's really hard to speak right now. Oh, as the as the keeper dragoon. Oh dear. We are indeed serving my duke. I think I'm saying that one wrong. Don't know why. Part of the water of alchemists. Just can't say it right. Anyways, enough with that. Uh, Small tidbit. The one and only who has guided our order from the shadows for more than 300 years. He's adding some, some nowhere. Else than the abandoned tower. That's impossible. The abandoned tower has been sealed for hundreds of years. Yeah, that, that does tend to be the situation where the evil villain does seem to hide it in the place that you least expect it to, Eric. Not surprised on that one. It's true. He sent us our orders through magic. And if he wishes so, he can leave the tower too. And it makes for quite a useful fortress for him. Yeah! That's strange. I'm not sure we can believe him. But at this point, we have no other choice. In case you don't know, Eugene Box, the abandoned tower is closed and can only be opened by all four spectral keepers together. Ah, so that's why the, that Maduk is trying to get all of our familiars. Because they're the keys. If, but if that weren't enough, its entrance lies beyond the mystical workshop, which is filled with some of the most dangerous monsters. And the key of power is also required to open the door to the abandoned tower. The key of power was hidden by a keeper master than more than 500, 400 years ago. Nobody knows where it is. It could just be anywhere in the sanctuary. The alchemist found a way to break through the magic barrier of the sanctuary. The leader might be immortal. Wait, what? Okay, that's, that's, good. that's good to know. Searching for the key of power so that we may gain entrance to the abandoned tower might be our best bet for right now. Don't you think we may be just, you know, getting the key for them, the villain will get them familiar, and then they'll open the tower and wreak havoc on the what? No, Eric? Okay, gotcha. Besides, on your search for the key, you might find some more clues about the alchemist and the leader. However, I will stay here to continue watching over the alchemist. Oh gosh, that was a double skip. Why did it do that? Anyways, uh, I. I just talk really fast, says Eric. Um, I wish you Godspeed. May you find what you search for in the sanctuary. Alrighty. So, I guess we'll have to find the key now. Where west do we go, though? Oh, is it like down there west? Interesting. Wait, what about that green area there? That might be it as well. Um, cool. This game really does not hold your hand. Dearing me, it's just like, yeah, just go to the west. You'll be fine. You'll, you'll be fine. I'm just like, yeah. Where, where is west? <laughs> Where is West game? Just tell me and point me in the right direction. Ah, the snowy peaks. Oh. It's all boring. Well then, have you been so far? You'll keep a seeker now, huh? I gotta admit, that was pretty quick. To be honest with you, snowy peaks seem calm and peaceful right now. At least I haven't heard anything yet. Hey, it said that in strange times, keep and need might be able to communicate with the forest of frozen oracle. Supposedly, you can answer any question. I'll tell you where you would need to go to find a lost object. Who knows? Perhaps you're the lucky one to find her. Then you're not going to jump into that cold lake. That's right. Oracle's supposed to be somewhere in the frozen lake on the west. End of the snowy peaks. Why don't you go take a dive? See if there's any truth to these stories. Huh. The game's being very oddly specific right now. Well, that's useful information. At least I used it in a... Damn it. Oh, look at these things. That's cute. Alright, let's give it a battle. 
All right, chat, Faye, and Berserk. This is our team now. Mm, wow, that was, that's, that was, holy moly, what the hell is that sort of move? It just breaks shields. That's very bad for us. There we go. Not too bad. Okay, our damage is really bad right now. Holy moly. Uh, okay, snowball toss. Sheesh, okay, that's a lot of damage. Kind of scary. Let's just go for the end guy. The middle guy, yeah, Yaoi does not do a lot of damage to us. It's really these end guys down here. Uh, and then... Chad just needs to have more crit damage, honestly. If I had more crit damage, I'd be a happier lad. Base shield is kind of just enough for us to survive this, but I think we'll be trouble in the boss battle, so... Uh, yeah, not a rude awakening. This game does not chill. It's just like, yeah... You are not prepared for this area, and we will make sure that you know that. It is not afraid to let you know this. Oh, so these are like activated by levers, I'm guessing. Oh, I completely messed that one up. Okay, what does that do? So now we got another puzzle. Uh, so that lever clearly opens a wall of some sort. All right, we'll look into that. Oh my gosh, okay. What does that open then? Huh? Uh, must be back here then, because there's something up here, isn't there? There we go. So we got this chest, the blue gem. This one here should open up another wall. Cool, we unlocked that one. Okay, dokes. Oh, and I also unlocked this chest. That's quite nice for us. Uh, okay, so these things activate wall, uh, one of the walls then. Okay, good to know. Give it a look. Up. Okay, oh, there's a hidden wall back there. Okay. Alright, I see how this one works. There we go. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay, I don't know what that was. That's okay. Hi there, folks. I'd like to battle. Oh my gosh. Uh... Um, basically means shields seem to be less powerful than they used to be, which is not really something I expected to be chucked into the game, but it does make sense because I have been abusing it more than I probably should have, which is too shade to the game. Checkmate. Fair enough. Uh, there's a lot to explore around here, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, oh, okay, yep, yeah, no, that, that would make sense. The water would kill you. <laughs> Alright, this is a earth thing. There we go. Hey. Where the hell are we meant to be going here? Apparently the key is, like, somewhere here. This is huge. Oh, who's this person? Lady Stasis. Why, hello there. You can't, you can't make me just the right moment to assist me with my experiment. A scientific breakthrough of unparalleled proportions. Oh, forgive me. I forget to if you introduce myself. I'm Lady Stasis, a leading scholar in the field of monster science. I also specialize in cryomancy. You'll see that both of these things are relevant to the experiment I'm to detect conduct. Give me a secret. Have you ever heard of a monster species known as a uh, shock hopper? Yeah, no idea, buddy. Uh, of course not. We're talking about a species that has been extinct for more than 400 years. Then why did you pose the question, Lady Stasis? Anyways, it's my current, current scientific pursuit to reintroduce the shock hopper to the world. Is that a good thing? All I had to do uh, was single out a possible genetic relative of the shock hopper. After many experiments, I've managed to do so. Uh, the only problem is that all I have of that other monster species is a couple of feathers. Do you understand my conundrum? I can't recreate a long extinct monster from a feather, just as I can't create a monster from thin air. I might be able to, however, if I had an egg of that monster. Uh, so all I need is an egg of the uh, related monster, which is called Dodo. <laughs> That's a bit on the cheek, isn't it? The Dodo can be found on Horizon Beach, which is at the very eastern edge of the sanctuary beyond the ancient woods. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind, Lady Stasis. See us. Alright, I guess we'll fight these guys. Or do I? No, I mean it. I was trying to be smart, and it didn't really work out very well. Uh, physical attack! Wow, okay, this is interesting. Uh, what we have... Yeah, I think... This? This and this. Yeah, actually, for once, I won't have chat. Interesting. Alright, shield, uh, shield. And let us continue on with the damage, shall we? Alright, freezing punch is nice to have from the very beginning, so we'll give it a shot. 
Alright, not too bad. And then we go for... Do I go for fire claw or claw damage? Come on, crit. Yes, okay. Not a lot of crit there, not as much crit as I'd like. Jeez, okay, that shield's gonna be a little bit frustrating. <laughs> Jeez, those guys move in a weird way. <laughs> what an interesting monster. I would like to have it. Please, uh, I wish I could capture it. That'd be great. Better to take it out and let it do attack to us at this point. But yeah, this is actually not as tricky as I think it thought it was. So we've got to be careful about some of them. The ice blob and the... Cat, was it the sort of cat-looking things? Those are kind of scary. They're in fact very frightening. Um, but everyone, these guys here, pretty chill. Gosh, this level is huge. Oh, look at this. Look at this bridge. Yes, this is cool. Whoa, this is a long bridge. Holy moly, this bridge is long. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Alright, well, we keep on exploring. Ooh. Hello there. Clothes maker. Huh, what a surprise a visitor. Hello, get warm by the fire. I'll make some tea for you. Oh, I have an even better idea. You came uh, to me because you want to swim in the icy water. Yes. You probably swim in a lake that won't freeze you to your bones, but I can already see your stubborn. <laughs> You know, I just, just gotta, just gotta do it, you know. It's, I just like death-defying death things that you can do in there. Uh, I know better than to argue with some young noodle. I'll make some warm underwear, <laughs> underwear for you. I really all takes to swim in the lake. Okay. Trust me, this will keep you warm even when you're at the bottom of the frozen lake. I make it from be beast hide and magma pillar silk. Yes, you will see. It will fit you perfectly. Just bring me some raw hide, okay? Uh, you can get it from those friendly uh, mega tours outside, or maybe you'll prefer if it's made from a different type of beast. Alright, uh, maybe you can even find some raw hide just lying around somewhere. There's so many treasure chests around here. Alright, uh, do I have it? Uh, okay, I don't have it yet. Alright, cool. We'll keep that in mind because that is... That does sound useful. Alright, this is a lot of exploration, I guess. Uh, okay, and... Hey, again, yeah. We just keep on going with the same team. Alright, uh, our defense should hopefully hold. Okay, kind of scary there. Uh, quite scary that one there. Okay, not too bad. That's okay. He's crit on this guy. This guy crits like mad. Nice. Let's go for an explosion damage. Get some more damage off. We critted on that one, so that is lovely. And please crit everything. No, okay, we were close. The five kills it though. That's fine. I should hopefully. Oh, so close. Yeah, we need to get a better team. Holy moly, our team is struggling. Yeah, we'll take it. Still not too bad. Uh, let me get the hide yet. Uh, no, we didn't get any of the leather hide we were after. All right, all good. Alrighty. Keep on trucking. Oh my gosh, no! Everything's fine. Oh, I, I guess this is meant to be used to get this treasure chest down here then. Oh, I missed it! <laughs> Even when I was trying to get it, I missed it terribly. Alright, great. Uh, parkour is a pain. I'm a parkour master. Oh, that's a water thing, isn't it? Uh, that, that, that. Cool. And then we can get this chest. Nice. Wizard hat level three. I mean, ain't gonna say no to that. Oh my gosh. There we go. Raw hide. Oh, we got the hide thing. We can go back to the house now. Cool. All right. There's gotta be a wall here. That's interesting. Then normally the map shouldn't. Tell you about that sort of stuff, but I guess that exists. Interesting. Alrighty, time to get our underpants that are fully water. Uh, you know, so we can go into the ice water now. Alright, I hope you like it. I made it specially for you. Stay as long as you like, or you can go and test out your new warm underwear by diving into some icy water. Just don't forget to visit me every now and again then, alright? Very good there. Alright, westwards we go! Oh, okay, there we go. We finally got an unlock portal. Hey, buddy. 
Hey, old keeper, seek you even sparks. Why do you do it like I'm like a leader of some sort? Anyways, beautiful lake, isn't it? They say the frozen oracle resides in a cave beneath the icy water. She only reveals herself to the brave and the worthy. Interesting. Well, whoa, watch out. Don't step too close to the water. You might fall in. I'd have to tell you that it's deadly to take a swim in the icy water, right? Unless you've got some mighty warm clothes on you, but they don't look like it. Oh, you've already gotten some warm clothing from the clothes maker? Alright then, hope you'll find some treasure. <laughs> She's like, oh, you have some underpants from the clothes maker. I mean, eh, you're fine, dude. Just jump on in. This, I do not imagine how underpants can protect us from this, by the way. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kind of impressed that the underwear is, like, that warm. It's, it's gotta be, like, burning us or something. Uh, I see you've come to tread on the doorstep to Oblivion, young keeper. Who the hell are you? Uh, you know of the dangers that lurk in the forlorn, uh, forlorn places of the sanctuary, and yet you seek them out. I've watched you as you travel the snowy peaks, and even before that, spectral keeper, you've been sparks. Ah, chat, you're talking again. I think I remember visiting this place with one of your ancestors, you've been sparks, but I don't remember this strange apparition. In another, in another life, I used to be called by a different name, but now I'm only known as the Oracle of Snowy Peaks. What are you exactly? Why do you haunt this place? I'm a lost soul that wandered the oceans of the world for years beyond count. During my natural life, I had seen the world turn to darkness before my own eyes. When a sanctuary was created, it was as if a prime for Vincent lit up the, in the middle of a black sea. Hope returned to the world. That's why I was over watch these will always watch the san over the sanctuary, and if needs be, I will intervene in the course of fate. The last time I revealed myself to a keeper was almost 300 years ago when the sanctuary was in great danger. Isn't that when the uh, alchemist tried to do something? Uh, but we failed. The man who had turned himself into an underlying, un undying devil escaped that grass, and he still seeks to corrupt the sanctuary. With lies and sweet promises, he has turned several keepers over to his cause. I do not know how many have joined his ranks. Spectral keeper even sparks. You've already shown great bravery on the path that led you here. But I need to be sure that you are the one that will save the sanctuary from this devil. You believe that you are ready to, uh, to face this oracle's challenge, spectral keeper. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, we're not going to do it there, but that is probably a good stopping point for today's Monster Sanctuary, folks. Thank you very much for watching episode 6 of Monster Sanctuary. I actually realize it's probably episode 7 because it is an episode 6 in the work, or it's one of the two. Editing email spots will correct me here. But I do hope you enjoyed this episode. The story peaks are oh, very big, so I'll see what I can do. I'm definitely going to try and figure out to, what to do with the team because the team is a little bit messy right now, and it's clear that pressing, you know, pressing through without thinking much about the team, not exactly working out for us right now. So, next episode, I will be essentially, I might do a stream in between, where I just basically just chill and look at getting like a better team going and see what we can do there. Uh, but otherwise, next episode, we will be versing this spectral thingamabob aberration over here and hopefully win. So, I'll see you then. Alright folks, and hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe, share your support, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.